welcome back and today we're going to go through our introduction to volume. Before we do that, I have a question for you. What is area? We need to know about area before we can start discussing volume. Well, area is how many square units cover a space or object typically of a two-dimensional or flat figure. So if I asked you to use this grid here to create a rectangle that has an area of 12 square units, what would you draw? Some different things we could draw would be a 1 by 12 or a 12 by 1 rectangle. Notice there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 square units covering that rectangle. Another type of rectangle we could do would be a 3 by 4 rectangle, 3 by 1, 2, 3, 4. And this rectangle has 12 square units that would cover it. Notice when I say square units, these are actually squares. Another type of rectangle I could draw would be a 2 by 6. 1, 2 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And again, the area of this rectangle is 12 square units. There are 12 squares that could be used to cover that space. This could also be thought of as a 6 by 2. This could be thought of as a 4 by 3. So what exactly makes a rectangle? Well, with a rectangle, we know there are four sides and those four sides um, have 90 degree angles between them. What about a square? Let's go ahead and draw our best square that we could draw. Where all the sides are equal and there's 90 degree angles between those sides. Now here's a square and here's something that we refer to as a cube. Here's a square, here's something we refer to as a cube. What's different about these? Well, a lot of you might notice that this one looks more three-dimensional, which is absolutely right. A cube is like a three-dimensional square. So let's come over here and define cubic unit. A cubic unit is a three-dimensional square. All of its sides are the same. That means on every side of this cube, each square is the same measurement. Okay. I'm going to ask that we now just practice drawing a cube. These dots are pretty helpful. We can draw that square. Looks like the square is at a bit of an angle. And then we draw the other side of the cube, which is also a square. And we can connect up there to make our square. Let's go ahead and practice another way. Another way would be to draw a square. Then you draw another square behind it. And you simply connect their corners, making a cube. Or you draw your square. And then you show the angle going back. And you can make a cube. Just some practice for different ways to make cubes when we draw them. Speaking of cubes or cubic units, in our math class today, 
you would be given these cubes and you would be given 24 of these cubic units and asked to make a shape. If you happen to have these cubes, go for it. Make any shape that you want and pause the video now. All right, you probably made some really cool shapes using these 24 cubes. But let's say I challenge you to use these 24 cubes to create a right rectangular prism. Well, first you probably want to know what a right rectangular prism is. Here's an example of that right rectangular prism. A right rectangular prism is a three dimensional rectangle where the bases and every side of the figure is also a rectangle. Notice here we have a rectangle, here's a rectangle, this is a rectangle. All the sides of this rectangular prism are rectangles. It is considered a right rectangular prism because the angle between the base and its sides are all right angles, every single one of them. So now that you know what a right rectangular prism is, remember all the sides would be rectangles, you can use your 24 cubes and create a right rectangular prism. Let's go ahead and pause the video now. Do you think that every right rectangular prism someone would make with these 24 cubes would be the same? No, they would not be the same. But what would be similar about these right rectangular prisms if all of you had the same rules? Create a right rectangular prism and it must use 24 cubic units. Well, they would all be the same because they all have the same number of cubes. Yeah, 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 they're all right rectangular prisms, but they all have the same number of cubes, which means that da -da -da, they have the same volume. They have the same volume. Volume is the number of cubic units that fit inside of a solid object. So here you can see I have a prism and I'm filling it with cubes. Those cubes create that shape, but those cubes are the volume of that shape. Let's go ahead and use the next page. to record as many different types of rectangular prisms and their dimensions as we can. So when I'm saying dimensions, I would say length, typically the longest side. Most of the time it depends on how you're looking at it, but the length would be the longest side. The width would be the distance backwards or the shortest side and the height would be like the height if you set it down on a table. Let's go ahead and fill out this table. Remember you can have all kinds of right rectangular prisms to choose from. So one type that I could use could have a length of one, a width of one, and a height of 24. That would give me a volume of 24 cubic units. Another could have a length of two, a width of 12, and a height of one. Another could have a width of three, a 
or I'm sorry, a length of three, a width of one, and a height of eight. I'm going ahead and show you the finished table. If you wanted to continue working on this, you would pause the video now. Here's a finished table with all the different possibilities that you could come up with um, for a right rectangular prism that has 24 cubic units. Again, notice that the length sometimes is smaller than the height or the width, which is okay. It depends on perspective. Like I said, most of the time the length is the longest side. I want you to try to look at this table and see if you can come up with any patterns. See if you notice anything between these right rectangular prisms. Yes, they all have a volume of 24. What do you notice? In the days to come, we're going to discuss what formula we could use with these numbers. Okay, until then, remember volume is the number of cubic units that fill a shape. See you next time.